All right then guys, I am gonna go ahead and do some wilderness and coops, which is not something I do too often. Uh, they drop blood money between 5 and 25. Bags of riches are 1 in 80. And that's kind of all we want. I also just did a little bit of elite gut wars on Mister. And he got 27.25k blood money out of all the bags of riches. Well, some other room coins as you can see. Um, nothing too crazy, but, you know, just taking whatever I can get, especially when it comes to blood money. But instead of the regular Ankus like we did the last time when I had it for a uh, Soul Hunter task, I'm gonna try barraging them in the wilderness. On the side, I'm also doing uh, Scotizo Totem Farming on Thai at Hellhounds. Very, very, very extremely AFK because of the fact that uh, they don't drop anything. So every time they do drop a Scotizo piece, it will always go into the looting bag, which is a big, big benefit of it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see how that goes, but that does remind me of the fact that my daily has probably reset a while ago. And I also need to do a Lava Dragons very soon, but that can wait a little longer. Well then, there are quite a few Ankus here. I don't know if you can even sh see all of them, because sometimes the stack doesn't show accurately. I think there's seven of them, if I'm correct. But either way, um, even though there are seven of them, they spread out quite a lot through the cave, so I can't just like stand in one spot and stay AFK, you know? A bit unfortunate. And I don't know how hard I want to AFK here either. I don't want to get Skull Trick, man. It's just an Arc Tome and a Dins, but rather not. Um, so far I've had a few bags of riches, very, very few, and some bags, or some blood money itself, but it's not... Not any amounts to write home about, as you can see. Only got uh, probably like 5 6k blood money from two tasks. It's quite a walk, that's the biggest issue. You can't really get back easily. 1250 blood money from that, that's nice. A little bit more from that as well. Not bad at all, 40k right there. Can we get any bags from this? No. Alright, uh, there's one more thing I can quickly do, hopefully, is Laren Keys. I only got 18. Somehow I thought I would have had more by now, but I can do those on tie and maybe get some blood money from that as well. Alright, let's see what we get from 18 keys. Hopefully no announcements too early on. Would like to loot everything before people start coming here, preferably. Oh, there's 500 mil GP announcement. Yeah, that doesn't get people here, nothing would. Goddamn, that's terrifying. 8k blood money from that one. Assuming I can survive and get back to home, well, we might be able to reach 100k at this rate. I wonder, I wonder. Learned tele teleport tablet. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's a Dagonite roped up, holy fuck. Spoon? Maybe I shouldn't have put that in the looting bag, eh? Four more keys. Three more. Ironically, the thing I care about most right now is the blood money, so I don't want to die either way, whether I would have kept the top or not. No one is showing up so far. 41,000 blood money from 18 keys. Maybe it's about time I start doing more of these, although I think I got pretty lucky from what I've heard from other people. The PK boy? No, that's not PK boy. The brain, how you doing? How do you do? Alright, not bad at all. That's a pretty good loot. Dagon High Top is pretty nice as well. 2.5k room coins, because who the fuck would ever use that? <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Anything else of value? Some room coin items. L stock, room bars, torstals, task bottles, but not too many. And 500 mil coins, obviously, is a pretty nice, annou pr pretty nice announcement. He's also doing some. Although he had a lot less protection on him. I'm also doing uh, Lava Dragons and Goba on the other side at the moment. Already finished mine on Raymon. And then we can uh, get a little bit more rune coins from that as well. Which would bring us, well, depending on what the Sack of Riches gives, but close to 130k. Which would be another uh, good amount of runs from uh, Cursed Crypt. Very nice. Alright guys, something completely different from anything we have talked about or shown so far. I actually made a little discovery in my solo Grandmaster runs that I had not noticed at all before. And I think this is pretty damn interesting. I'm gonna go grab some... Uh, some half-decent magic gear is what I wanted to say. First we're gonna go ahead and let the prayer go down a bit, preferably to zero, so we can get a clearer look. 
This is a pretty interesting one. You know what, I may as well describe what I'm talking about while the prayer is draining. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone here would have assumed the Sang staff works the same way I think it works. You look at the little uh, TOB log for the affliction items, you hover over it, chance to restore prayer from 15% of damage dealt in PvM. When I read this, uh, read this the first time, I assumed, okay, so that means it just restores your prayer instead of hit points. Logical conclusion, right? So, like, normal Sang Staff gives you uh, hit points restoration. I think the same amount as well. Uh, it doesn't even show. But Sanguinesti Staff used for healing. And then you have a Holy Sang Staff, which is used to heal your prayer, basically. That's how I assumed it worked. And I'm guessing the vast majority of you guys would assume that's exactly how it works as well. Ironically enough, I found out it's a little bit different. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this dummy and let's see if we can get a trigger easily enough. And hopefully it doesn't take too long, but let's have a look at both. You know what, I'm gonna pick up the Curse Wraith as well. We can get a clear picture of it. But as you can see, it healed both my HP and my prayer. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I assumed up until now that it just healed your prayer instead of hit points. But it does both. Which is quite a drastic difference. Does it make the staff like super insanely good now? N no. Unfortunately not. Because as you can see by the amount of times we're hitting this dummy, it doesn't trigger that often. Whereas the Sanguine STI has a 1 in 3 chance to activate. From what I can tell this seems to be roughly 1 in 6. And even then, we've done more than 6 hits now and it's just, yeah, there we go, finally a second trigger. It is nice when it does trigger, it deals your prey and your HP pretty big. But the trigger is just a little low in my opinion. It's not a very fast weapon, it just takes a while. There we go, three total triggers did get us back to full HP, which is really nice. I just wish it would activate a little bit more and then this could really be a very good item. Maybe even better than the Sanguine SDI. Like, yeah, the Sang I would heal more, but this would still be really, really nice in certain scenarios. Especially affliction rates and stuff, but I just didn't know you could use it to heal. It's just unreliable. It is so incredibly... How do you say that? Inaccurate to, to trigger, right? So it just takes a lot of hits to finally see what you're waiting for. There you go. And it was a 51 hit for like 10 prayer points, so it doesn't even do all that much. But it is definitely better than I originally thought, and I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. Like I said, I assume a lot of you were under the same impression when it comes to this stat that I was. Hey, I was just doing some random runs and I actually got a giant's boot, which is a new log item for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, use it on the urn. Let's see uh, what I have left. Wow, I'm really slow. <clears throat> yeah, giant boot, pretty nice. That leaves us with the wrong one. Bucket Helm G and Ancient Skiller Tome. How the fuck do I not have the tome yet, bro? What do you mean? I don't have 1000 gold or what? Okay, found some. Master Task Bottle. Back to back gold ore. Good thing I took enough. <laughs> ah, that's the wrong Bucket Helm. Damn. Well, we're one step closer at the very least. And it's some um, half decent room coins, I believe. How much is a giant boot? It's not at the start of my bank. 1500 room coins. Somehow that's way more than I was expecting. I thought it was like 500 or something. I think the bucket helm is uh, 500 though. Other than that, didn't get anything of value, but getting there in terms of uh, another room coin exchange because of the grassy rapier and stuff, but I don't have no gems. Right, decided to run three cursed crypts because of the falcon on my account instead of on Ty's. First one is still a bust. Next one. Oh, that's not looking too good so far, is it? Yeah, I don't think falcon makes that much of a difference here. Last one. And yeah, nothing as well. Just gonna continue running it on Ty then. Well, Ty is playing himself at the moment. He managed to get a bit more. Total of 14 keys at this current point in time. Let's go ahead and run them and uh, see if we can get lucky. Probably our last chance, we might be able to get one or two more keys if we're lucky, but... Ah, we got exactly 24 hours before the resets, 23 and 20 minutes actually, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Number one out of these 14, nothing. Number two, nothing. 
Number three. Morgus Javelins, aka nothing. Number four. Nothing. Number five, how about we get a loot? Nope, still nothing. Plus we did three keys earlier, which were also nothing on nothing. You'd almost think the cursed crypt, uh, crypt is fucking cursed. <laughs> uh, I'll let myself out. Number six. Nothing. Number seven. Nothing. Number eight. Nothing. Number nine. Nothing again. This is getting a little sad right now, man. And that is the last run did all of them stop recording because nothing was happening. And even on the final key we get nothing. 17 runs today, zero drops. I don't know why Cursed Crypt has such bad drop rates. We had a Falcon as well. Why is this pet so trash? But uh, it's just depressing, man. Imagine trying to get five Steady's house. I genuinely feel like if I had two million blood money banked right now and I could do 200 runs, I still wouldn't be able to get five of a single item for the merchant, which is fine. I mean, I suppose it's something you should grind out over a longer period of time. But I would even have doubts about getting a single stat helm, because this is just, this is nutty man, 17 runs with a falcon, zero announcements, not even like a point mystery chest or a grand lava key or anything like that, just nothing. It's a little depressing, I'm not gonna lie, like, all I wanted this week was to get one single stat uh, helm, I feel like I've given my everything to it, like, I've been grinding to get this single helm. And it's just not happening, and it's, it's very unfortunate. Um, there's less than 24 hours remaining, like I said earlier, even less now, 22 and a half. I just don't think this is going to be doable at this point. Man, it's trying to be gay me when I'm trying to do my precious ants, man. You've been following me all the way to level 1. A little ambitious. Let me teleport out. I kind of want to spec him. <laughs> and he's back, boys. Lovely. Get out of multi first. If we can do against this dude here. How did that not kill? Like for real. GG's. So close with the X packs. Shame. Just for reverence, let's quickly see what we can spec in this. We're fully potted and everything. Yeah, still a fucking 80. He got pretty lucky. Alright, this is kinda of funny. Nate just uh <laughs> Gave everyone a million bronze arrows and told everyone to go gamble it. And the person who gets the most bronze arrows after 30 minutes will win something. Bro, I just kind of want to chuck them all. <laughs> hey, my boy's thinking the same thing. Let's just go for one mil. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, it doesn't show instantly. <laughs> Here we are, guys. This is the high tier content y'all subscribed for. Here is a million bronze arrows on the line. Oh, we got a one pair. Oh, we got a one pair. Oh my god, who will win? This is crazy, I got a two pair. Oh my god, I got two mil bronze arrows. Yo, if you aren't subscribing for this, I don't know what to tell you. This is nutty, guys. Oh, does he have another one? <laughs> How the fuck he have so many, boy? Oh god, let's go again. Oh my god. <laughs> let's just skip to the win, because honestly, I don't want to spend the entire episode on bronze arrow FPing. <laughs> Thanks, G. Blue, yellow, we got one pair of reds. Oh my god. Bust. Mom, man's my last chance. If I don't make a comeback here, how can I ever become the very best? Oh, you got a two pair. Never mind. GG's, you got the full house. Oh no. Rip, bonk. Man, just had a fight with him as well. He wants to go again. A bit crazy. He does have full carols, which is a little scary. Smite it. <laughs> Double spec GG. <laughs> uh, Dragon Claws, full carols, Emmy of the Damned. He had a DH set on him as well. But I can't loot it because I'm a Nairin man. Doesn't stop, man. He just doesn't stop. Oh, that's already. What? Where's the, where's the 76 that I spec? Oh, it's on all the fucking ants, isn't it? <laughs> that's stupid. What the fuck didn't the spec hit him? I was like, oh, 76, GG. It didn't fucking hit him. Well, whoopsie. Right, I guess it wasn't obvious I risked jack fucking shit. He said he just wanted one more and then he would leave me alone, so I'll take that. <laughs>